Hi, my name is Jack from My Consult, and since 2003, we actually been helping business owners simplify their payroll processes. If you'd like to support us by creating more content frequently, do like and subscribe today. All right. So today we'll be looking into how we actually can set up our leaf inside SQL payroll. Okay. So the first thing you will need to do is to create the different leaf type. All you just need to do is you come to leaf, come here to maintain leaf type. All right. So on default, the system will give you annual leave, medical leave, and also unpaid leave. All right. So however you can see based on my example here, we can create as many different leaf types that is relevant or related to your company. All right. So inside here, let's say we just take annual leave. We just press edit. All right. So few things that you need to know. The first thing is whether this leaf is entitled. So means whenever a staff or employee joins you, they are entitled for this leave. Next is unpaid. So if you take this means if ever the staff takes this leave, they will deduct from their salary. And finally, if you allow to bring forward, then you must take brought forward. All right. The next thing that you also can pay attention to is actually there's a color. So for companies that like to see it from an overview, they can actually select different color for different type of leaf. So on an overview level, you can see oh this stuff the annual leaf or medical leaf or unpaid leaf, right? Okay. So once we are done, we just press save. Alright, so once we actually set up all the different leaves, now we can actually proceed with different leaf groups, alright? So from a company perspective, this feature is actually critical if you have different groups of employees in different settings, alright? So example, uh, executive level staff will only get 8 days for the first year, while management level staff can get 12 days for the first year, alright? So let's say today we want to create a leaf group for management. So come here to leaf, come here to maintain leaf group. Alright, so we press new and then here we say MGT management, alright? Management. Okay, so here we just need to press plus to the add all the different type of leaf that this group is entitled to. Alright, so first thing is annual leaf. We come here to entitled. So from here we can select, okay, example from the first year to the second year, they get 12 days. After that, subsequently, third year to the fifth year they got 16 days and maybe from there six year onwards to 99 they get 30 days all right so you can actually set the number of days for each year they are in your company okay so the next thing that you need to be aware of is how are you going to calculate the leave so there's a few options here things like uh if your first year is based on completed months since uh, this proportion or if more than one year then it's uh, round up and to the closest one decimal point if not then you can even round it to the closest day if you select this option all right so you can choose which one that's more suitable for your operation all right next that you know just now remember we select annual leave we say that this annual leave is allowed uh, to be brought forward Okay, so some companies, they also set a limit of how many days they allow an employee to carry forward their leave. So this is where we can just set it up here. Press the three dots here. Press carry forward balance here. And we can set this leave maximum they can carry for is five days. All right, press OK. And for this example, we just want to create one leave type and we just press save. Right, so we already set the leave type and then we set the leave group. So now we need to assign the particular employee or staff into this leave group, right? So let's say example that I got a test employee and I want to set it to the management leave group. So all I just need to do is come here to the grouping here, select leave group management and we press save. Alright, okay, so now this is done. We can proceed with calculating how many days this employee has, okay? So to do that, we come here to leave, we come here to leave entitlement processor. So this leave entitlement processor, you need to do it every year at the start of the year, all right? Okay, so let's press leave entitlement processor. So now we are doing for 2024, we press process. Okay, so now you can see there's two options. Which one should you press? So for example, if this is your first time doing it, then we press override. 
if for example you already made some amendments and you want to keep those amendments then you press open so if for example you make some amendments and you press override the system will override whatever changes that you have made previously okay so today we just press override first the system will then calculate how many days each employee has for the year all right and if you can see there's no leave that's more brought forward that's more than five right so this is actually how easy it is to set up the leave inside sql payroll if you have a topic you'd like us to cover do leave a comment below thanks